Hey, this is Jeremy Nagel talking about the Blueprint feature in Zoho CRM. I really love this feature. It solves a problem that I've had many clients ask me to solve, which is how can you represent your business process within the CRM? I was asked at one point by a property marketer to represent the whole process of getting someone from being interested in a property to signing the contract on the dotted line. There were different people who were involved depending on what kind of property it was. It had, it, at the end of the day, 87 combinations of what could happen depending on the contract type, contract stage and all of that. He came to me because essentially he ran out of workflow rules. He was trying to do it within the workflow rules section this was before blueprints were invented. They're a relatively new feature. And it just couldn't be done. We ended up having to do it in Zoho Creator, as you saw before. And it was really complicated, quite hard to visualize as well. Blueprint solves this problem in a lovely way. It allows you to represent your business process as a diagram, which then creates buttons within your CRM to guide users through a process. You can see here the workflow that I've set up. It starts by either going to pre-qualified or spoke to over phone. And then the end goal is to get to send quote. The other pathways that could happen is it could go to lost lead or junk lead. There are some cool features within this. You can see I've ticked common transition here, which allows you to have a transition from multiple states. I've got it coming from spoke to over phone, contacted by email and pre-qualified. So any of those states can go to send a quote. And the same thing for lost lead. That would be a common transition as would junk lead. Let's have a look at what it looks like in action. First of all, we have to enable the blueprint. Now, if we go to a lead, create a new one. You'll see we've got our transitions that are possible. We can either say that we contact them by email, pre-qualified, did a phone call, or that they're a junk lead. If we click on contact by email, it forces us to enter notes. That's one powerful thing about it. You can see the way that that happened, contacted by email. It has make notes mandatory have to enter. Sent them an email asking what they want. If I save that, we'll be able to see down here. I've got a new note and you'll see it adds a note there. Lovely. And then after that, we have send quote. Sent them a quote for 10k. So that, at that stage, you'd probably convert it. Or you, maybe we'd want to have a status going back to lost lead as well. say, why did we lose them? Okay, perfect. But you'll notice, if I refresh that, I don't have any other options. You'll see, if I look at these ones, I'm at contacted by email, 
but the only transition available I have is Junk Fleet. The reason for that is every time you modify the blueprint, only new leads will receive that new blueprint. The old leads will be stuck on the old version of the blueprint, and in this version of the blueprint, I screwed it up and I left out a transition from contacted by email to anything else. The only thing that I could do was junk it. And you can't actually change the lead status. It's a read-only field in this case because it is part of a blueprint. <laughs> this means that blueprints are very powerful, but also that you don't want to screw them up because otherwise you'll have these leads that are stuck. Some other things that I found were a bit confusing were if I accidentally added in a new stage and then I realized I didn't really need that one anymore. To delete it, you right click and do delete. That wasn't immediately obvious to me. And the same thing if I add a transition and decide I don't want that transition, I right click and do delete transition. state to as well. Now, some other powerful things that I really like are you can also include fields in here. Let's say that I want to collect their fax machine for some reason and that it will validate. This is awesome. We've been wanting in-process validation in Zoho Serum for ages and now it's finally here with blueprints. So I can say, if the fax is empty, because we want it to be not empty, we'll say, please provide the fax number. And now, it will let me save it. This is really cool, this feature. We've been wanting to have in-process validation for a long time. There are so many posts on the forum about this feature, and I think people don't realize it, that it is possible. If I save this, and now I'll create a new lead. I'll go phone call, and you'll see if I try to save it without. Huh. Interestingly, it lets me enter a dodgy field. Probably shouldn't really allow. Maybe we can modify that. Let's go back, and let's see phone call, change the validation, and facts doesn't contain the an A be nice if it had a facts is of type but I don't think we have that feature yet. Phone call. And then we'll do DA. And doesn't that perfect? But if I do one, two, three, it does. Ideal. Finish it off by sending the quote. Set them a quote for 10k. And then at this point, I'd probably convert them. We'd also ideally want to be able to say that after sent quote, it might end up going back to lost lead. So we'll add that transition. Say, why did we lose the lead? We definitely make notes mandatory in that case. Okay. I'm not 
sure if that's saved. Sometimes it, it seems like it's a bit buggy. Let's try it again. It doesn't actually save. Sometimes the save button is hidden. Uh, what's leave? Why did we use the lead? mandatory and it did let me save this time good let's go back create another lead phone call facts same quote and then we can say lost lead I really like this feature, it's still got a few bugs in it, but it solves a massive problem in terms of having a business process enshrined within the CRM. I think Zoho have done a pretty good job of this, hopefully they'll iron out the bugs. Look forward to seeing how you use it.